The following video is a recap of the new wave of Pokemon from Gen 4 that was recently released in the Pokemon Go, Torchic Community Day, and of course Lapras Raid Day. Welcome to Lewis's Adventures Plays Pokemon Go with me, Lewis Manucci, as your host. In this video, it's a recap of me covering the new wave of Gen 4 Pokemon that was recently released in the Pokemon Go, Torture Community Day, and Lapras Raid Day, as you will see how I did during the making of this video. It's exciting to see a brand new wave of Gen 4 Pokemon finally released into Pokemon Go shortly after the Detective Pikachu event ended in the game. As you see here, I managed to catch a lot of Hippopotas so I could get its evolution. Hippodon, Burmy, which of course its evolutions were also released. Shellos and Gastrodon, which of course confirms that both the West Sea and East Sea variations of Chelos and Gastrodon are region exclusives. To even the evolutions of Eevee, Leafeon, Glaceon, not to mention the evolutions for Nose Pass and Magneton, Probo Pass and Magnezone, which of course these evolutions can be obtained through using the Mossy Lore, the Glacier Lore, and the Magnetic Lore, but of course. The Mossy Lore is also a way to get Chirupi, which I failed miserably to get during my first try, but successful during my second try, or alternatively, you can also obtain one through hatching a 5k egg, and of course, Eevee's new evolutions can also be obtained through new nicknames that were added into Pokemon Go. This can only be done once, just like the previous evolutions from Generations 1 and 2. I finally did it. I finally caught my first Chirupi. To get one, you have to use a Mossy Lore. The same way you evolve Eevee into Leafeon. That's the only way to get one in the game. I'm heading down to the art museum to do Community Day. And about Detective Pikachu, well, 
I have reviews, a spoiler and a spoiler free video on my channel. If you don't want to be spoiled, I would recommend you watch the spoiler free video. If you already seen the video, then you can watch the spoiler review. As you see here, the first Torchic I caught, the shiny, was the second one I clicked on in the game. And as you will see, I also did an Azelf raid, which I failed to catch. But I still enjoyed Community Day nonetheless, and you will see how I did during that Community Day. Torchic Community Day was lit. As you see here, I managed to catch a lot of them. And you'll see in a few moments that I did an Azelf raid, which sadly I failed to catch this one. But of course, after Community Day ended, I ended up with my friends over at Jack's Firehouse where we did another one. And I was successful in catching that Azelf from that raid. As you'll see, my final total of Shiny Torchic I catch is seven. And it was a great day. Because not only that, I also finally got to see Detective Pikachu. I will post the link to both my spoiler free and spoiler reviews of the movie in the description below if you want to see those, which of course happened the same day as Community Day. Well, today, my final count for the shiny Torchic is seven, and stay tuned as I will close this video out with the Raid Week and Lapras Day. We're heading to the Philadelphia Museum of Art to do some Lapras raids. Hopefully, I can get a shiny in this raid with my friends around here. Stay tuned to see if I do get one. Despite failing to get a shiny Lapras, that day, after doing seven or eight raids, I managed to get one good Lapras, a 95%, perfect for PvP battles, which of course, that's good. But of course, I was still disappointed I did not get a shiny. But of course, I found out from one of my friends who lives in the neighborhood, he caught three of them and he's going to give me one till we are best friends in Pokemon Go, which of course, when that happens, I will finally get it. The day after this event, as you will see near the end of this video, I managed to get a shiny Rattata, which totally makes up for failing to catch this, this shiny Lapras.
Unfortunately, during the Lapras Raid Day event, I was not very successful in getting a shiny Lapras. But a good pal of mine who lives in the neighborhood will be giving me one. And I was able to catch a 95% Lapras, which I can use for PPV battles. As well as the day afterwards, I got lucky and caught a female shiny Rattata, as you see here. I was not lucky enough to get a shiny, but I was able to get a near-perfect Lapras during one of the raids. And my pal Elmo, who I was with, will give me an extra one that he caught. In the meantime, I had fun doing this day, and I'll never forget it. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And remember, it's time for adventure!